If you guys would like to win this free iPhone 7, all you guys have to do is follow these simple rules. All you guys have to do is subscribe to the channel, turn on channel notifications, leave a like on the video, and then comment down below saying you subscribed and you'll be entered to win at the end of the month. Yo, what is going on guys? It is District Trending here bringing you guys this brand new video. Now today guys, this video has been requested so many times, so I'm finally just going to do it for you guys. And these are the reasons why TayK could be facing life in prison. I'm basically going to be showing you guys currently TayK's um, arrest records and stuff like that. I'm going to be showing you guys like the more important ones. I'm not going to show you like the ones like he's been arrested once for selling drugs, but like I'm going to show you guys like the actual important ones, which is could be either going to help his rap career or gonna flush it down the drain because he's gonna be facing life in prison but before we get into the video i gotta give the notification shout out that is going to my boy rolex watches shout out to you man thank you so much for having the channel notifications on view yourself watching this video right now with like a channel notification shout out at the start of my next video for all of my subscribers to see and help you gain subscribers all you guys have to do is turn on channel notifications leave a like on the video and comment down below saying notification squad also if you are new to the channel please hit that subscribe button that would mean the absolute world to me if you do do comment down below saying you subscribed and I'll personally reply to you and go subscribe to your channel. I may also have one free Amazon gift card code in this video. I'm going to see if I can get one when I'm like editing this video. So make sure you guys watch the video fully through and see if you can find it and win it. If you guys actually are like 100% sure who Tay K really is like right now, you guys will for sure in the next coming months. But he is actually really blowing up right now. Tay K's real name is actually Taymor and he's originally from Long Beach, California. His real mother is from Long Beach and his father is actually from Compton. He lived there for the first eight years of his life before moving to Las Vegas. A year and a half later, his father got out of jail and they moved to the east side of Arlington, Texas. This is where Tay-K did most of his crimes and actually met the people that he did his crimes with. So make sure you guys remember that because this is going to be an important part of the video. Tay-K actually attended Martin High School for his freshman year before he was kicked out and then placed in an alternative high school. When he was placed in this alternative high school, so was all of his other friends from regular high school from freshman year. It was at this time where he actually started mobbing in the streets on the east side. TK actually started rapping in 2015 and has multiple music videos all across platforms. His most recent album was actually Santana World, which actually did pretty well for a new and fresh upcoming rapper. But mostly everybody knows TK for his hit song called The Race, which if you guys aren't all fully aware, I did videos talking about The Race. And The Race actually song came from him cutting his ankle home bracelet arrest thingy off and he actually wanted to run from the police so saying the race is actually his way of just running from the cops so we're gonna get into the arrests right now I just want to say quickly that and take has actually been in a lot of crimes and there's not full details about every single one but I'm gonna be telling you guys the big crimes he committed because all the big ones kind of outshadow like outshadow the smaller ones but here's some of the big crimes he committed and the charges he's facing I just want to mention I got all of these facts and f crimes from websites so some things may be a little bit off but most of it all is real i made sure of all that was real for you guys i checked multiple websites i got all of the information that you guys need to know all the facts about his crimes now i want you guys to watch the rest of this video and then let me know down in the comments below if you think he's gonna face life in prison me personally if he gets if there's proof that he did one of these crimes he could be in prison for a lot of years but i want to know what you guys think and this is by no means a hate video at all i actually think tay k is a really good artist starting at the first crime guys the reason TK is currently being locked up is because he decided to cut his home ankle bracelet off. He wanted to flee the police, but the crime he actually committed for all this happening was actually a home invasion in Mansfield, Texas. TK and seven other people wanted to rob a homeowner who goes by the name of Ethan Walker, and in the process, he was actually in the home. They found Ethan Walker in home sleeping, and they actually decided to kill him in the process of robbing his home, which is actually very sad. Now, it didn't say, like, where this crime happened, so I don't know if it was kind of, like, in the ghetto place of, you know, Mansfield, Texas, but still, that is pretty sad. You should have just left the house or something. Honestly, you guys probably didn't have to kill him at all. Now, the reason nobody got charged for full murder for this crime is because no one actually knows who killed Ethan Walker. There was Tay K and seven other people that he likes to mob with, and none of them wants to fess up on who actually did it, so they were all put on house arrest, and there's actually still some in jail for this crime. Now, the only problem with this crime is that nobody's most likely going to fess up just because that's how people like to do it over there. Like, you know, no one likes to rat out on anyone. It's kind of like a sketchy way to do it, but everyone's probably going to be on house arrest or in jail if no one fesses up. 
So for the second crime, TK is actually connected to a murder in San Antonio while he was on the run from the police after cutting his ankle bracelet off. On May 25th, he actually robbed a 65 year old man named Skip Peep while he was walking home. TK saw Skip at a bank machine and followed him home. When Skip was walking home, he actually took a path through the park. He said in an interview, taking the path from the park actually gets you home faster. And Skip Peep was walking home through the park and that's when TK actually robbed him and assaulted a 65 year old man at gunpoint honestly that is absolutely like i like tk you know he's a great artist he makes pretty good music he's probably not that bad of a kid like he just went into the wrong path and like honestly a 65 year old man like that's pretty much some like most of you guys watching this video is grandpa so just imagine a 17 year old kid robbing your grandpa at gunpoint i want you guys to think about that in case before you leave the hate comment saying oh man tk's the man dude you're just a hater like guys it's a 65 year old man at gunpoint. Think about that just a little bit. Now for this next charge, this actual next charge was not fully him. He said he was actually in the car when it happened, but he did not kill anyone. TK was involved in a drive-by shooting that killed an innocent college student. He was a passenger in an SUV whose driver opened fire on another car following a verbal dispute on New Year's Day. TK's friend who actually did the crime and the murder was charged with fatality shooting a University of North Texas student, Sarah. And the crazy thing is, TK's friend who actually committed the crime is a 21 year old former Marine. He's currently being arrested in Denton County Jail, awaiting trial on his first degree murder charge. I found the really weird thing about this whole crime is that the person who actually did the crime was a Marine. Usually, you know, they'll have like respect for other Americans, you know, they're never really like this, but I guess some do change and like to do this kind of stuff. I don't know, I found this really odd and weird. That's why I didn't really believe it at first. I actually looked into this crime for almost two hours before I wanted to make this video because I wanted to make 100% sure that I didn't mess this up for you guys, but he actually is a 21 year old Marine who killed another person. Now I guess Sarah was actually driving home one night and I guess TK and then the Marine were driving home as well. And I'm not really 100% sure, but apparently at a stoplight, I guess they were blasting music and I guess Sarah gave them a dirty look. And then some articles were saying that the person who did the like murder actually tweeted after that happened saying that girl was in the wrong place at the wrong time. Now, I'm not like 100% sure if that tweet is real or not because it has been taken down. His account was suspended, but some articles said it was there and some articles didn't say it was there. So I just wanted to kind of put it in because I'm not really 100% sure. But if it did, that's kind of, that's really like, I don't even know. That's so disrespectful. It's not even funny. Now, TK has most likely been in other, like just tons of other crimes, but those crimes really aren't that important as at this moment right now because of these three i just told you guys now if you did enjoy the video if you guys can please smack a like on it let's hit a thousand likes on this video i know we can do it guys we've been doing that every single video easily and please subscribe if you guys are new i want to thank you guys for 40 000, 41 000, and 42 000 subscribers we hit that all in the past three days which is amazing thank you guys so much now i'm still i'm like halfway through looking at all the comments for the winners of the xbox one and ps4 so I knew I said it was going to be announced at the end of this video, but guys, I've literally had over like 30,000 comments. So I'm trying to put them all together right now and I'm getting all the links for them and putting them in a draw, like a Google draw thingy. So don't worry, that will be announced within the next few days. I just didn't honestly think I was going to get anywhere near 30,000 comments. But anyways, guys, it's been District Training. I hope you guys did enjoy the video. If you did, please smack a like on it. We'll see you guys again with another new video. Peace.